turn to other news for you this morning uh, to do with the re-registration of SIM cards. The Minister of Communications and Digitalization has announced that Ghana has merged its central equipment identity registry with a global database. This is part of government's move to crack down on phone smuggling syndicates, evading millions of cities in taxes. At a press briefing Sunday, SOC Kufu announced the nationwide SIM re-registration exercise, which will start on the 1st of October this year. In 2019, on this very forum, we indicated that we would commence SIM registration in March 2020. However, due to the pandemic, we were unable to do so. I'm happy to announce that the ministry and all stakeholders in the sector will launch the national SIM card registration exercise across the country next month in October. The Subscriber Identity Model Registration Regulations 2011, LI 2006, mandates network operators or service providers to activate a subscriber identity module, SIM, only after the subscriber registers the SIM as directed by the NCA. Every subscriber is required by law to provide the name and residential or occupational address date of birth in the case of an individual, certificate of incorporation in the case of a body corporate, or registration in the case of a partnership or an unincorporated body of persons, and provide an identification document as well. Only the national ID card, the Ghana card, issued to an individual shall be used for registration of SIM cards of citizens, foreign residents in Ghana and foreigners staying in Ghana for more than 90 days. In the case of foreigners staying in Ghana for less than 90 days, a valid passport or other travel document will be required. This isn't the first attempt to register SIMS, but all previous efforts failed because of the lack of a ver verifiable, secure identification document. The above situation also led to the influx of pre-registered SIM cards in the system due to our inability to track and trace people who commit crimes with their SIM cards. The prevalence of fake IDs and the non-existent system of verifying the IDs also led to unscrupulous individuals procuring hundreds of SIM cards for SIM boxing leading to the loss of revenue to the state and the network operators. The Ghana card provides the basis for a successful SIM registration exercise this time around. And that's your business update for now. Sports is coming up next.